here we have a black E31 840 4.4 V8 Sport with 51,000 miles from you here at oldkernelcars.co.uk just give you a quick walk around show the car in more detail and uh, appreciate how lovely it is it's rare to see them in black I think it's one of the best colours and obviously this one being a Sport has got all the nice later editions okay Lovely from the back. This one hasn't got the rear spoiler. Um, that was an option. I think it looks better without the spoiler, but that's a personal thing. You know, they both look good. Lovely sort of square arches, sort of very 80s and 90s. around a bit closer now so the arches can go on these I'll show you all the arches all the wheels the nose cone and that lower splitter can be an issue this one's fine I'll show you that a bit closer with the shine on the bonnet so you can see that Give it a shine. Come on, arch. Go. Well, that's to be a bit negative. It's a bit hard to fault. I'll try and show you a couple of stone chips maybe there um, try and catch at an angle uh, a couple along there that I think you can see for a very presentable car to the drivers sorry passenger side you can hopefully see very straight do it from an angle in a sec. Roof. Okay, do it from rear angle. Okay. Do the rear arch again. Usually, if they bubble, they're at the bottom of the arches. Good. Okay. Do the rear close up. Sometimes they can have rust on that rear below the number plate. On this one, all good. I do it from an angle. A little bit of lamination in the corner of the screen, but that's quite minor for one of these. I've seen a lot worse, and they all seem to have a little bit. Um, just, just where the, I guess the glue's reacted over time. It's a very common issue on this it there as well. But the boots, all lovely and straight. Run it again for you. Do this rear arch. Try and get a bit 
more detail for you. There we are. Let's do the side angle. Very straight. You, you might find the odd chip minor mark, but it's a really, really good looking car. And then we do the sides. From this angle, really nice shine. Same on the roof. Again, I notice a couple of sort of stone chips. One there. You know, you have to look. I think there's one there and one there. But you know, around the sunroof, they often get lots of corrosion. This one, as you can see. Is fine and obviously the sunroof works perfectly. That's another common issue of these are either stuck shut or don't tilt. This one's fine. What's happening there? Check I haven't locked it. Oh. Excuse me. Locked it. Right, anyway, there we are. Uh, door cards, extended lever, all in good condition. There we are. I'll do a zoom around the interior. All original, even the original stereo. Get both seats. And this one, That's lovely condition lever, memory electric seats. Uh, headlining can be an issue on these. This obviously it's a sport, so it should have the. It may look lighter, but it is the dark, anthracite sport interior. Sorry, headlining, and it's all perfect. Rear seats. Okay, all good. So, lovely interior. I'll just pop the engine bay. the other side in a sec. It'd be tricky with one hand, there's actually two clasps on these. Let's put the phone down for a second. Sorry about that, there we are. That'll be 4.4 V8. That will pronounce very well. Water where it's been raining here today. But... The side. Okay. Quick shoot in the boots. Okay. So, some of the manuals and history there, as you can see. Really clean, CD changer still there. Uh, Toolkit. All there. Locking up. And lastly, we'll just do the interior from this side. Really clean, nice and light. Lovely place to be. I've also performed the full PDI, so underneath all the seals, jacking points, everything else is solid as you'd expect. Drives really well, um, just been serviced. So it's available now at oldkernelcars.co.uk.